Hi, beloved in the Lord. My name is Emily Lee and this is Heavenly Host Vision with Lady. I'm so excited to welcome you again to yet another prophetic word. And Almighty God bless and keep you safe, sound and protected. Beloved, the Lord says that he wants to speak. Where are you? Losses want to speak to so many of you, but you are so dependent on others to speak for you. Losses, it's high time to start knowing him for yourself. It's high time to start knowing him for No man or woman or no prophet or prophet shall give you exactly what the Lord can give you. The losses, it's time for you to start focusing on him alone and not on any man or woman of God. Yes, they can guide you, they can cast, they can talk, they can give what they can give, but they cannot be accurate like he himself. It's such, actually, this, actually, this question, have you forgotten his, what his scripture says? He spoke three times concerning his spirits that shall fall upon you. And you shall dream dreams, you shall prophesy, you shall see visions. Those shall ask that. Those shall ask that. Well, have you suddenly forgotten have you forgotten Isaiah 44 verse 3? And I'll pour out water on thirsty and, and streams on dry land, on dry ground. And I'll pour out my spirit on, on your offsprings and my blessings on your descendants. His spirit shall be poured upon you. Or in fact, his spirit is upon you. And when the spirit of the Lord comes upon a man, things change. You start seeing things differently. It's not only really love differently. Let's move ahead to Joel. Joel 2 for 28. I will come about this day and I will pour my spirit on all mankind. And your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams. The Lord says, have you forgotten this scripture? Why then are you so dependent on others? Why have you allowed yourself to be misled? Because so much that is being given out there is not true for your life. No wonder they don't things that some people say don't even resonate with you. Because the Lord, the, the Lord is expected to come to him directly and tap. Please, Lord, the Lord said, Lord was speaking to me this morning. I should tell, I should tell you guys, I should warn some of you. I should, I should tell you that you should focus on him. Because he's the only one that can, that, that, that can be accurate in your life. Focus on him. Know him for yourself. You are, that, you are a prophet to yourself. You are a prophetess to yourself. The Lord is there to tell you to focus on him. He has already poured out his blood upon you to prophesy, to see vision, to dream dreams. This is the age, this is the time. Rise up, beloved. Please rise up. Act, Act um, 2 verse 17, it says, And it shall be in the last days, God says, that I will pour forth my spirit on all mankind, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions. And your old men shall dream dreams. Even in my bond slave, both men and women, I will in those days pour forth my spirits and they shall prophesy. Prophesy to yourself, beloved. The Lord wants you to hear from him and speak those words to yourself. You have the power, you have the grace, the gifts. It has been given unto you. We're no longer waiting for this to occur to you or to us, but it is already in you. How well are you cultivated? The Lord is saying that this morning that some of you are not are not even looking unto him to, to, to tell your, you, 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 you trust other people to, to predict things for you. The Lord says it is not good. It is not good. Because we understand in part and we prophesy in part. And cannot, cannot give you the complete direction that you need. Only the Lord, only the Spirit of God that is in you can fully direct you. Just has to remind you that if you don't know, He has given you the Spirit of prophecy. 
to know things for yourself and stop depending on other people completely. Not that, not that you will not listen to other people or whatever, but he said you should know him more for yourself. Prophesy even in your life. Decree in your life. Establish things in your life. Because you're that powerful. You are that powerful. You are that powerful. You are that powerful. Lord says, come. Come. And let him teach you. Because no one can teach you the way he does. The Lord wants you to be in position of taking care of yourself, knowing things for yourself, and stop depending a lot on others because they cannot fully give you what the Lord himself can give you. I repeat, the Lord is calling on you to depend on him. And he will show you all things. He will order your footsteps. He will show you ways to go. He shall go before you. He shall reveal the unsearchable things to you. He shall reveal his mind to you. He shall reveal all that which you need to know. People can only encourage you and say things that blesses your that, that bless your spirit and your soul. It's great, it's wonderful. But the Lord says it's time. It's time. It's time. I don't know who I'm talking to right now. The Lord says that it's time to get to, to him directly. Most of the times. And here what is he's got to say? Thank you. That was all I had to say to someone right now. God bless you. May God protect you. Okay. I'll see you in the next video. I've been Emily Day. Stay tuned.